Hey everybody, Tactic Angel here, back on the PlayStation 4, playing some World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be looking at just a replay, we're going to be on shards, and of course, because I'm a lucky person, I get to start in everybody's favorite spawn, the middle spawn, so I'm going to go ahead, flash my commander up on the screen, made that a little bit bigger, you guys let me know if you like bigger, smaller, if you don't care at all. In any case, you can't look at them too long because things are going to start happening. Uh, of course, on the middle spawn, uh, you don't have a lot of time to really do much about your position before you're going to have to start fighting people. So, here we are, opening the game with a salvo against a relatively well-angled Iowa. We get a little bit of something. Uh, for the most part, we just don't want to get shot back too much. Um, I'd be able to bounce most of his shots. Uh, that Bismarck, however, is giving me an even better angle. I'm hoping that he's still going forward. Uh, looks like he is. It's hard for me to tell exactly how quick. And, uh, yep, this is, this is kind of the red alert moment that all battleships kind of get when, when they're playing on this map. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is quickly fire off all my guns. We do a pretty good amount of damage. We've immediately hit the reload boost, and we're switching over to HE. Uh, this is going to allow us to apply the precise amount of damage. Nope. Not quite the precise amount of damage necessary to kill him. Uh, in any case, you can see we're going to get a, a third bite at this apple, and f for sure, got him, sniper battleship strikes again. So now we have an Iowa, he's over there giving me a nice, big, juicy target. Um, the way I figure it, if they're going to put me in a decent enough brawler this close, I'm going to have to kind of run up on people uh, and just try to make it to the other side of these islands as quickly as possible because I I don't want to get into a situation where I'm taking broadsides from the southwest. Now thankfully somebody else finishes off that Iowa. I'm switching over to the Bismarck. Um, I'm not going to be able to do a ton of damage to a Bismarck, except for repeatedly hitting it. Obviously, the, the guns are going to eventually catch up to him, but he's got pretty good armor. Uh, there you can see kind of the sort of dispersion that I pay for uh, when I choose my commander. Um, I like the extra heal. I typically play survival type battleships uh, because actually a lot of your your actual job in a battleship is taking hits for your team as opposed to letting other people take hits for your team because um, if they're not in a battleship they probably won't survive it quite as well. Now that Bismarck is making a run up for it. Unfortunately I am not going to be able to use my reload booster to make sure he can't get away. I probably do have enough time to whittle him down. I activate my superpower to leave people on one hit point. It looks like he is slowly trying to heal that back. Uh, in any case, we should have one more, one more set. Just trying to sneak my last shot through there. We do kill some wildlife, but we manage to connect with the Bismarck behind it, so pretty good outcome there. At this point, we have pretty well put the danger behind us. Behind us. So, not all of these things are scripted. In fact, most of my replays aren't. But, um, nobody over at A is going to be able to really badly hurt me at this range if they can even shoot at me at all. We start engaging that Indianapolis which is trying to run away from other problems only to find that he's stumbled into even more. That Citadel was 
really, really nice. And we managed to score enough hits, which was actually just one, uh, to finish him off. Jean Barr, I really, really like this ship. Uh, here we're coming up on a Megami. The Megami is also not paying too much attention to me. And the Mogami is no longer playing the game. Uh, now at this point I'm moving up on this Nagato. At this sort of angle, I'm going to aim upper belt and towards the nose. Um, just hoping to sneak some damage in and not just sit here and wait. I know I'm going to be able to get my guns uh, back in action by the time he's closer to me. I'm hoping uh, to use my second reload right here, but a secondary gun takes out my super firing turret. This happens all the time. Uh, obviously, if I had been able to do double the damage there with quick reloads, I would be just doing terrible things to this Nagato, and that's really what the Jambar is all about. Um, now to, to kind of harken back to my review of this ship, um, we'll talk a little bit about the secondaries. I want you to pay attention to the 155s or 152s on the back of here and the triple turrets. Still haven't engaged, still haven't engaged. Now the super firing turret engages, so it has really almost no angle forward. We get some hits there, but we aim waterline, put it in the backside of that Nagato, and he is he's going back to port too. We managed to score our fifth kill with that, meaning we have a Kraken unleashed, which is pretty fancy. And at this point, we will speed up the game. Uh, like I said, I think honestly it would be hard to argue that the Richelieu has really any advantage over this as a as a total package uh, hopefully you guys are finding the campaign to earn this to be a little bit less stressful than some of the campaigns that we've seen in the past i know i certainly uh, think this is a lot more doable than campaigns in the past so as we're coming through b um i'm gonna get back into normal time here john Barr is out there we're gonna see if we can punish him a little bit this was actually recorded on Christmas, so you can consider all of those to be a really poorly aimed presents. Um, really, the dispersion is a small Christmas miracle for him. Uh, obviously, not very good. We're going to continue to shoot at the Jean Bar because shooting at a Benson with AP at this range is uh, extra pointless. Um, can't really tell too much about how the Jean Bar is moving, so I'm holding off this shot. Unfortunately, now I can't even see the guy. I mean, which is really no change. But there he is again. This is going to be lucky if I get much out of this. Yeah. Hit superstructure. That was pretty much all I expected to be able to do. He gets finished off by somebody else. There's a Benson. I got four seconds left. Why not? It looks like he's trying to change his direction. So I put this out there. You know, with with some HE, we uh, incapacitate something. We knock his capture points off. And of course, yeah, do a, a decent chunk of damage too. That is me adjusting my aim to kind of figure speed, uh, heading, that sort of thing. Trying to become a better shot in this game. Uh, always a struggle. And I haven't run into any islands so far today, so that's a plus. Uh, looks like I have the opportunity just in front of me, but I'm going to make a gentle little turn. Tap him one more time. 
I think he's going to get finished off by my allies, which is exactly right. Uh, now it's just me and an Iowa. Now I will note, even though I only have the one turret, I, I have three heals left. And this is actually kind of the situation I find myself in a lot of times with the Jean Bar, which is as a survivability build, maybe not a great idea just because you're going to outlast your ability to actually do damage to the enemy. At least that's what I found a lot of times. I go ahead, pop a heal just because it's, it's not really going to matter here. I want to make sure I get up to that Iowa because I'm feeling a little spicy. Um, a lot of times when I don't have a, a turret and the game's going to end if I uh, run into somebody, then you know why not? Why not boop him? So I'm not sure if he's steering for me or if I'm steering for him. As it turns out, I probably don't need to. So, like, at this point, I was thinking, Tech Gangel, this is probably not a good idea. So I decide uh, to start dodging. And obviously, obviously, he was going to miss me. And there we have the end result. We earn, actually, a pretty substantial amount of credits, obviously, on 166,000 damage. There you see us on the top of the charts. Uh, 4324. That's actually... It's a lot of basic XP. Now you kind of see the actual financials of it. We only make 421,000 credits, actually. For the most part, Tier 7 Battleships, you're not making a ton of money on this. With both premium time and this being a premium ship, you can make it a little bit more affordable to play Tier 7. That said, don't expect to make money hands over fist in this. In any case... Thank you for joining me in 2020. If you haven't taken a look at my 2020 celebration video, I suggest you do that by the end of today uh, because I will be drawing the lucky people tomorrow. In any case, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.